here with Marty Jertsen at Ping headquarters. And Marty, today we're talking G410 mm. hybrids and the crossover. Um, these are pretty exciting clubs. Yeah, these are a lot of fun. So um, fairway woods are gonna produce the most spin and highest trajectory uh, in those transition clubs. So high lofted fairway woods. And then next is the hybrid. And, uh, and then we go crossovers, then we go long iron. So in the G410 hybrid, what's a lot of fun is that for the first time from Ping, we have a, an adjustable hosel or trajectory tuning technology. This is becoming more and more important as we bring more distance into the iron category, have more options there, irons like the I500 and the G700. Uh, gapping your hybrid from a distance standpoint into those irons is becoming more and more important for players out there. So this gives us the ability to gap them easier uh, at the customer level and through the fitting process, as well as unlock the ability, especially for the better players that kind of think, oh, hybrids go left, right? I think we've, we've probably experienced that ourselves. Mm -hmm. Now you can take this uh, up to three degrees flat from its standard position with oh, our yeah. hosel and really eliminate the, the left miss and, and utilize the hybrid. Super high ball speed, the face is Miraging C300, which is a very unique material uh, that uh, we get an ample amount of flex out of the face during the impact interval, so we get a lot of ball speed. A lot of ball speed out of that, and that is very interesting for a lot of better players out there. Uh, sometimes you can get scared of that hybrid, but that's mm -hmm. definitely going to help. So the crossover. Yeah, so the crossover is a lot of fun. It kind of has a, a little bit of a different identity for us. So the first couple uh, were a little bigger. We've really slimmed this one down and optimize the size really in the sweet spot for the player that's going to be utilizing this club. So it's, it's bigger than our I-500 long irons, but not quite as big as our G-700, our new G-410 iron. So it's going to be a great transition club that's going to still launch high, even though it kind of has, when you first look at it, the look of a driving iron. Its default trajectory is pretty high, but because it has a flat face, and that's one of the advantages over the hybrid, it can unlock the ability to hit stingers or yep. control the vertical trajectory a lot more. So you notice the sole is about 20% thinner, the blade length is about a quarter inch shorter, more iron-like profile, but we've packed in 50% more tungsten in the low toe, counterbalance with the mass in the hosel, so the CG is still in the center, uh, but it has very high inertia and a lot of forgiveness, also powered by Miraging C300. So it's maximum, flex out of it. maximum yeah. COR, a lot of flex out of the face. Yeah, and, and as I was hitting this, I was noticing it's a very traditional looking club, but the great thing about it is you get more of that performance high and straight. So that's yeah. not a bad thing. Yeah, absolutely. And this is going to go a little bit higher than an I-500 or a G-700. So from a trajectory and a gapping standpoint, this can be a great transition club, especially for uh, kind of the avid player, the, the more skilled player transitioning from their irons into their, their fairway woods. Okay, some great options from Ping.